Cockchat TV, Cockchat Television, back, new season, Arnie Slotball. Boy, I was more looking this season, the first game, to see what, because he's still got the Klopp's players. So I was looking to see what is the same players going to do with a different manager. Um, I noticed that we probably are a bit slow in the build. The first half was rocky, not going to lie. They didn't really create anything, but obviously they ain't been in the Premier League for 22 years. They were fighting, the crowd was up for it. Ed Sheeran was pumping them up before their game, playing songs and that. They were up for it and they were probably winning the first balls and the second balls. Even Klopp came out. Slot, sorry, came out and said they were winning the battles in the first half. But one thing I was interested to see was how he... Because Klopp always used to have a good way. Like, if you see us play rubbish in the first half, you know, he'd make some changes that would make us better in the second half. And I wanted to see how Slot was going to deal with that. And the same thing, the second half, we dealt with them nicely. We dealt with them nicely with, on them. Obviously, the way they was pressing us in the first half, you can't do that for 90 minutes. There's no fitness alive that can do that. Mo Farah probably couldn't even do that. So it was always going to be more spaces. Um, I feel like Graven Birch played good today. Proper good quality on the ball. First half, he was probably one of the few who still played decent in the first half, but second half, he did well. Summer Slide played good in the second half, not so well first half. Trent came alive. Salah was a threat in the first half. A couple of times if his touch was better, he would have been in by second half. The whole team basically second half was better. Diaz, I felt, was good until the final pass. Running past him, pace out a man with the ball. The other player never had the ball. Ran straight past him, but the final ball again. One, uh, someone touched it back to me. Knocked it over the goalie, but knocked it over the whole goal as well. We beat them 2-0. It could have been 4-0. Jota missed a header that you would expect him to score, but that's why he gets more patience than certain other players because you know he ain't going to miss two of them in a row. One minute later, chance come, left foot finish. So, for, it was a Salah assist, and then the second goal, Subasla got the assist, I think. Good play, good good play, one touch everyone. Salah into Subasli, back to him. Maybe as little the defender tried to get something on it. Bam, finished 2 0. Weren't really, really well, we was trying to kill them with a third goal, but it, it felt like the urgency weren't really there. Gakpo came on, did pretty well as well, actually. Interestingly enough, he came on up front instead of because I thought he would have come on for Diaz. He came on for Jota. And Nunes didn't even come on. So, Quanta was swapped at half-time. I thought he had an injury, but the manager came out, so, so, the head coach, sorry, came out and said it was tactical. And to be fair, Kanati came on and did a lot better with the just bullying everyone kind of vibe, pushing people out of the way and winning the headers. So, solid win. First game of the season, you can't read too much into it. Some of our players have only been back for a week, week and a half. We got the three points as did most of the big teams that's played so far. Shouts out to the Cop Chat TV editor, co-owner. He got the bet on the 2-0 Liverpool. Won a nice one, the first season, first game of the season. So, yeah. Obviously, we've got the Fantasy League team as well. I'm going to put the code in the comments. So, if you're watching this, you're thinking, oh, this guy don't know what he's talking about. You think you can defeat me on Fantasy League? Come in. The code's going to be in the chat. Um, in the comments, sorry. Yeah, it was, it was just a, it was just a pretty step away to Ipswich. We're expected to win that, you know what I mean, realistically. But they did put up a fight. They weren't parking the bus. They were coming out and attacking. So respect. Man of the match was Salah. Do I agree with that? Probably, probably. But Trent played good, and Gavin Birch. Honorable shout, Trent Gavin Birch. Soberslice second half. Trent had a period of about 10 minutes where he was just playing some insane passes. People talking about other players, I don't even want to name them, but how Southgate never managed to find a way to use Trent for a team that couldn't make chances is probably the reason why he doesn't have a job at England no more. The number six debate, people talking about Arts oh, and This is why I didn't want to make videos about transfer rumours because yeah, it just ended up looking foolish because now this never even happened. Nothing even happened. You're making videos, editing up hours of footage on a player that didn't even come Liverpool. 
Fair enough, you got your views. Well done to you. We need a number six. It's not a secret. Can grab and batch play it? I don't know. He can definitely play deep lying, but I just don't think. I still think he needs like a tackler, but not Endo. Not Endo. I think the midfield look better without Endo. Yeah, Jones. Jones never got on. Elliot never got on. Nunez never got on. There's a lot of players that never even saw minutes, but as I said, everyone's coming back, so it's one of those ones. Brentford next week, home game. Three points in a bag, a clean sheet. Like we never conceded a goal in the first five minutes. So I was like, all right, cool. Because we looked like we were trying to concede a goal, passing it around for no reason. Uh, who, else, who, else, who else would you give an honourable mention to? Probably Kanate. <clears throat> Kanate, yeah, Kanate. Kanate came on and. It's just like Slot said, it was about controlling the game. Quanta was losing too much. You were saying, saying so it wasn't enough to control the game, mm -hmm. so that was important. Mm -hmm. I suppose you saw the change, so you have to give a big shout out to Kanate. Big shout out to Kanate still. And you know what? Shout out to him for fighting for his spot because it looked like. You kind of got usurped by Quonsa, but he said, listen, I'm not having it. And he's fighting for his spot. Fair play to him. Hopefully now we pull our fingers out and actually do some business. But we're here. Copchat TV is back. We're back on the road. One, two nil win. Three points in a bag. Clean sheet. Bonsky. You think Elliot's going to work his way back into the team? Hmm. Yeah, I do. I do. I do think Elliot, there's definitely a space for Elliot and there's potential for him to come back if Super Slide's got the physical attributes, he can run, he can do everything, his box to box is insane. But that final ball, if Elliot shows it a few more times, I could see him taking that for that kind of more attacking role. So yeah, Elliot, Elliot could definitely come in and, and provide some assists and take that place. If he comes and provides assists and gets a couple goals, which is not more than he can do, he will take that starting spot. Why, why do you think Gravenberch looks better in this system? Obviously, it's a different system, but what's actually changed that's allowing him to play better? Is it just his understanding of it? or I think it's the way that Klopp was all about intensity. Mm -hmm. And Gravenberch ain't that intense. Klopp wanted us to midfielders to get the ball, pass it off quick to the attackers. Get the ball, pass it off quick. Like Even like you see players like Wijnaldum, Playing for Holland, quality. Playing for Liverpool, just like a, not a water carrier, but a workhorse. So I think just the time on the ball is giving him time to show a bit more of what he can do. Because Graham Birch can really do everything. He can pass. He's like six foot three. He's got skill. He can shoot. He can tackle to a point, but he's strong enough to be a problem. He's a good all round player. Really, he's supposed to play box to box, but. We've got a few too many box to box, not enough defensive mids, and he's probably the most suitable one for that. It'd be like against Ipswich, do you need a defensive mid that much? Defensive mid that much, probably not. Be interesting to see him play against a team that's attacking us properly. No, no disrespect to their attackers, but I mean attacking us back like an Arsenal or a City, one of the top teams. How he would look in there, but he's definitely got the quality to do it, and I do think that there's a player in there. No, definitely, you can see it. Just like Gakpo, I think with Graven Birch and Gakpo, they never done anything too crazy last season, but you look at them and know these people can play football very well. Graven Birch has taken us chance and now showed us that if the system's right, he can be a valuable asset of the eleven. Gakpo's done it as well, but I think he's got another gear. Gakpo is a top quality yeah, footballer. Yeah, yeah. I think it's harsh. I don't think you can put Gakpo and Graven Birch in the same bracket because Gakpo's done a lot more. But when he's been he... given the opportunity, but could he do? Is he in in the sense that they can both do more? Then yeah, they're in the same boat. Mm. But I was kind of surprised today that he started Diaz instead of um, Gakpo, and Diaz did do well. But it's just like I'm saying with Diaz, he's always always got all the all the moves, all the motion, the skill, the intent, everything. But the final ball where Gakpo will finish it or will provide the assist, so he's probably just got a bit more of a calm head in that moment. But yeah, man. Yeah, it's good to see Bradley come on and Timish Gaspar. Yeah, yeah. Bradley more. Because you don't want to just see that sitting on the bench. He's too good for that. Yeah, Bradley's too good for the bench, but Trent's too good to get replaced. So it's, it's unlucky for him. But he came on, nearly got a goal, brought intensity. You know what I mean? You can see he's just one of them busy bees. He's like a young Robertson on the other side. So, yeah, man. Who's the next match against? Brentford at home, 
Cavalier's coming back to Anfield. Oh. <sighs> I don't know. He's the kind of guy that uh, wants, you feel feel like he's got a lot to do. Don't put it into the universe. You it's already he's out there, there, man. You know what he's like. You know what he wants to do. But we just we just have to stop him. It's fine. We just have to stop him. I actually like Cavalier. I was kind of annoyed that we sold him, especially considering we didn't even bring anyone in. But again, he's he's like he's too good to be on the bench. We don't play with a number ten. We don't play with formation with his position. So we got him. On, we got him for cheap. We got him for one of them compensatory fees. We sold him for what, twenty-seven and a half mil. Who did you see from Ipswich that impressed you? I like that Amari, you know, Amari Hutchinson. Keep my eye on him for the fantasy league. If he's cheap, he's coming in the team because he's a player. If he, <laughs> yeah, he's a player. He might not be there for too long. I don't know if he's on loan there or if they've sold him to. I think they've sold him to. So he's good. Um, there was another one. Was it Graves? Graves. I don't really know their team like that. Left back. Left back. Yeah. Davis. Is Davis. It? Leif Davis. Da- is that in the name? Maybe. Good. good. Top he's, assist last year or something. He's good. Year. He's good. He's good. Davis. Yeah, 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 yeah. The left back. Strong. Strong. Obviously, he's getting caught out by Salah, but from playing League One the other day and now you're playing against Salah, it's going to happen to you. But he's good. I'd be surprised if him and Hutchinson are the ones that maybe next season they might not be there. But yeah. It's like you say, it could have been four or five. There's a few passes over the top there from Gravenberch to Sala. Like if he got his touch right, it was one on one. Easily, easily. So, but first game of the season, you can't can't be up too no, much. No, 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 not that you are. But I mean, like even me looking at, I'm thinking Salah, man, comfortable probably. But yeah. nine goals on the first day of the season for Salah now in the eight games. No, no, if you're talking about goals, you've been talking about Jota leading the line for the longest time. With if Jota gets a good run of, if Jota doesn't get injured, which twenty seven goals, you know what you're calling. Twenty seven goals. That's that's what Jota will score if he doesn't get injured. I feel like saying in the league. And do you know what this style of boy? If it's take him off with a quarter of the game to go after he's done his business, maybe we got to manage his time better. Manage his minutes definitely. Same thing with Trent. That's why I liked it as well. Keep them man there fresh. We need them man there. So yeah. Joe will bust 20 goals easily. And, and once he sharpens up, like, really, could have had two today without much stress. So, I know he hasn't got a ponytail, but he does his job. But, yeah, man, listen, we'll catch up soon with the new one. Glad to be back. Boom, skill, yeah.